mention from the stool. Uh, I know this is a highly anticipated return. Uh, it's time for the sequel to my rap and career. This time about OJ, but uh, not the juice. Let me set the scene. June 12, 1994, when Nicole Brown resides. OJ killed her and her friend, anyways, besides. You can't reach a verdict without seeing all the facts. Although it's almost certain Orenthal did the attacks. Star football player charged with murdering ex wife. She was found with 12 stab wounds, courtesy of a knife. On her porch is where her and her friend's body lay. Let your count what led up to her unforeseen last day. Both Nicole and OJ attend their daughter's recital. With OJ's attendance at dinner proved to be vital. OJ goes to McDonald's to eat and smoke some meth. Well, Nicole is fancy, unknowing to her near death. That's where her friend Ron Goodman comes into this case. Since the eyeglasses of Nicole's mom had seemed to be misplaced. Ron offers to return them because he's a nice friend. But little did he know his life was soon about to end. What happens next is a mystery, but we can infer. The dog was barking crazily and blood covered his fur. Neighbors awoken by the bark dog, walking to the scene. Ventures into the yard and couldn't believe what they had seen. The neighbor traumatized, started to dial 911. Seeing the dead bodies of two, not one. Could it be the job? Of the milk courier van. No, it was Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goodman. You would not believe who was the number one suspect. Surprise, surprise, it's the husband you expect. On June 17th, he was charged with two counts of murder. His main defense consisted of I never heard her. Then we get into the infamous Bronco chase. Going so slow, Vin Diesel would think he's a disgrace. Eventually, he gets arrested after he surrenders. Was he gonna kill himself or was he just a pretender? He gets sent to court and the verdict seems go against. He doesn't have the people's votes, there's so much evidence. He throws in the last Hail Mary and he doesn't give it quit He says, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit He thinks this could work, what? Are you serious? I thought our court system was better than this He's acquitted of all charges likely because of his race Everyone was wanting to put him in his place This three sets of the story is the saying goes The stupid and the small ones and there's people that know The jury was put in a tricky racial situation OJ was so free to go on journeys and vacations The murder of these two was never justified As a verdict of the Case and name station worldwide. OJ got to run away and live on scot free. And that's why this is huge in US history. Have racial injustice not been a playing factor. The verdict would be good to saying yes, he attacked her. He should have been locked away for life, no doubt. That's all I got. Peace. I'm out. I really love this class, Miss Levitt. You're a great teacher. Thank you for letting me explore my creativity with raps. And I hope you enjoyed as much as you did the first one. Much love, Miss Levitt.